Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the reactivity of the variables we have seen, and also we have seen about the how to check the reactivity of the variables. Also, we have seen using the is react and is ref, and how to convert the variable to reactive using the two refs. Also, we have seen. Now in this video, so now the data type, the, the data thing is completed. So that means the data thing. So remaking the reactivity of the variables is completed. Now if you want to declare the methods, okay. For example, I have a button here button uh, change name so i will be having change name if i click on this button i need to change the name of the user details so how can i change so here i can use at the rate click dot prevent and what i can do so i will write here name is equal to change name oh sorry name is equal to i will use something like changed name okay i will use something like that okay i have given the inline 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 data i am trying to write now if you go here i will try to remove this set timeout okay so set timeout is removed now i change so when we are clicking in this edit click i am trying to change that name is equal to change name so here this this name now if you try to check the output here so refreshed nothing will be changed here why because i have removed the set timeout and if i click here the name has been changed to change name so that means if i write here the variables if i try to change in the template it is changing but now we already know that this is not the correct way to correct way of writing the methods so we need to we will be writing the logic in the uh, view uh, the js js side so by declaring the method name we will be writing like that right so we'll try to do like that change name okay we are calling the method so this change name method how we can declare it here now let's try to see here I will remove these all the things okay i am removing this user refs also i am removing so i am removing these two refs and i am removing this is the is reactive and all those things okay so this is the basic thing now what i can do is so here how we how we can mention is function change name inside the setup we need to write function change name okay the function change name so inside this function change name we need to change so here what how we can change user details i can directly access this user details here and user details dot what is the name of that one name is equal to what i can write here modified leela or anything whatever the name you want you can write it now somehow i need to relate this name somehow i need to relate this change name to the here so how somehow i need to relate this name i need to use this method name here into into the top so how can i use this one so this change name this change name will 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 it be uh, communicated so will it be, will it be will it be matched or not so now no, it will be not matched so somehow i need to send this function change name to here so how can i change how can i send is this is the written thing so how can i use here i can write here change name the met, the name and also the name of the function so remember that you should not use the parenthesis you should pass the reference this change name i can send it here so if the key value and the value if the key and the value both are same means you can write the es6 shorthand notation like this this change name automatically refers to this change name okay now if i try to see so here it is user refs is not defined okay let's try to remove this user refs so we have removed everything yeah okay user refs this one is referring to the yeah, so now we will change it user details okay now if i try to check this one okay i refresh this one if i click here it is not changing why because we are we are sending the values so now we will change we will send user details here directly okay we are sending user previously we used to send user refs right user details dot name user details dot h okay so i am sending this one so now what i can do here if i try to refresh and if i try to check the code click here see it is changed to modified lila so that means here whatever the thing uh, the whatever the method i have he written here so we are we are able to successfully use this method name okay so in order to mention the methods in the composition api previously how we can mention we will be having here methods something like this and this is a set of objects and you will be having here the change name method like this right so now now in this composition api you will be referring like this so what are the functions you need inside the setup message so 
so this setup is already a method in the methods inside the methods we can use it this is the normal javascript uh, logic only so you can mention this uh, function change name and you can use like this okay so this is the how we will be mentioning the methods in the composition api if you want to write the es6 notation you can write something like constant change name is equal to okay like this you can write this is also this is also valid one only this this is also valid one you can use this one also now if i try to check the output here now if i try to check the output if i if i click here see now also i am able to change the output so anyways you can so shorthand notation you can use this function change name directly you can use that one instead of like that okay so this is how we'll be declaring the methods in the composition api if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.